Potoon demo tutorial for beginners how to use Potoon. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we create videos using Potoon. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow these steps I do to not make any mistakes. So as you can see they have a lot of different companies who already trust them, who use their software. And in order to start we need to visit Potoon.com and here we need to click on start now or sign up basically. It's pretty easy. Click on sign up and after that we'll come to this page where we need to create our account. We can continue using Google or Facebook or we can create like new email and then just create an account. So I'll just continue with Google. It's the easiest way as for me. So let's log in using Google account and now we are on our home page as you can see. In the left side we have a menu here with create button, home page templates, import area, blank and so on. In the central area we have a lot of different templates you know, we have like personal templates as for us, for social media, for promo videos, marketing strategy, sales, customer communication and so on. So here we can find the suitable one as for us. As we, if you scroll down we can find more like feature templates like this here. As you can see, like all of them, almost all of them are for pro version, but we can still uh, use some of them for free. In order to create something, we can just simply click on create. And as you can see, we have a lot of options. We can create animated explainer, whiteboard video, presentation, marketing video, branded character, screen and cam recording option we have also, and video from PowerPoint. So here we can choose anything we want, but in this case, I'm going to show you how can we use like animated explainer to create a video. So let's click on it and we'll go to this page. As you can see, almost all templates are for pro version. So we need to click on pro and maybe we'd like to like buy pro plan, like $40 per month. But uh, there is like options to use it for free. As you can see, like gift, it means that we can use it to try, for example, like this. We can click on edit in studio and after that we'll come to the editor page and uh, we'll just simply start from this. There's like a lot of options to edit something we want to choose. And basically this is our editing page. On the top of the screen we have like menu with edit or create. Uh, we can also like find help option, undo or redo our changes. We can use SWOT analysis, we can save this progress, we can upgrade our version or export as you can see. So um, uh, we can simply like uh, basically rename this project to our, let it be like test and now it's called test. In the left side menu we have a lot of different uh, slides or scenes. So the first one, the second, the third and so on. We can also add a new slide, blank slide here, if you we'll click on this option, so we'll create it. If you we'll click on these three dots here, uh, we can find options to add send, we can add blank slide, extend, save send, duplicate or delete. So I'll just delete this uh, blank slide and we are going to customize one of these. So for example, this slide here. As you can see, if we'll move our mouse, we can find a lot of options uh, we can customize so we can change every single part of this slide basically. Uh, let's try to view how does this slide looks like. So it looks like this basically uh, and it's pretty like cool. Uh, firstly, I'm going to change the text here, so I'll just click on our text and like rename everything here. I'll just input our channel name, let's be like helper mon, and here we'll input like tutorials. Also, I'd like to delete this part of text and like change the position of our text here. If you'll click on every single uh, Text. We have the option to edit it. As you can see, we can change the font, we can change the size, we can change some other stuff like line spacing, like alignment. And we can also add like a list. We can add different effects like from A to B, animate a change in the size, orientation, or location. So we can animate this text. We can also add like some effects here. We can arrange, 
uh, and we can link it to something. Also, we can change the opacity as you can see. So this is about how can we deal with a text? Basically nothing hard. In the right side, uh, we have the option to add some objects or something like this. So we can add, for example, background. We can choose it from here, from here. So if you'll click, we'll just simply change it. I'd like to undo this changing basically. And as you can see, there are a lot of different uh, stuff we can use. We can also add some text in the right side, add some characters. So for example, this guy here, so we can just simply move him, uh, choose the like emotion, let it be like scared, for example. We can resize and do some other stuff and add. Basically, we can also change the duration of this object. So we can move it on our timeline here. If you'll click, we can just simply scale it. What? How do we like it to like appear? So now it looks like this, as you can see. Uh, basically, pretty cool. Uh, we can also add different props. We can add different shapes, images, videos, audios, and so on. So there are a lot of options how we can deal with some add additional options like add music, add voiceover, and so on. So this is a way basically of how can we deal with different objects. We can also customize every single part here. As you can see, just simply click and do some other stuff. We can change the pose, for example, or change some, some other stuff. So this is a way of how can we deal basically with like presentation objects. In order to export, we need to click on export in the right top corner here. And as you can see, we have like share link option, download MP4, download image, create video page, uh, just share to MS Teams, YouTube or download PowerPoint. Also, there is like more options here. But as for me, the most useful is download MP4. But as you can see, it's like only for uh, like upgraded versions, upgraded plans. And as you can see, there are like different like light and pro. Pro is like $40 per month and Lite is like only 15. So there is like a differences between them, of course. So let's go to main page to discover what is the difference. If we'll go to pricing, we can find that there is like three paid plans, Lite, professional, business. And the difference is, is like in Lite plan, we only have like five premium exports per month. And in professional is like unlimited premium exports. So if you are interested in working like for a long time, I suggest you to use like professional plan. As for me, this one is the best. Of course, we can discover some more differences here. But as for me, the number of exports is the main difference. So this is about how can we deal with Putoon.com. Hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.